fun ladies class this morning and uh, we did a four exercise uh, abdominal quad flex or core quad flex and uh, I wanted to just make a video of it and if you guys want to try it at home go ahead um, what I would suggest is setting a timer to go off every 45 seconds or if you're crazy every minute and you're going to change the exercise at that interval so I have my gym boss timer and I'm going to set it at 45 seconds um, let me show you the four exercises, then I'm going to go through one full round so you see what it looks like with the more advanced version as far as the plank bird dogs go. And then I'm going to have Tara do it with the uh, plank from knees bird dog and she'll do the full version so you'll see what it looks like from two different perspectives. So let me show you the exercises first. Um, the first one we're going to do is called a um, serratus. So, okay, serratus anterior is a muscle in the ribs. Helps big up build their posture, a better posture, and it also helps ladies when it comes to push-ups. Okay, it's a good muscle to work on. Um, sit up, generally speaking, you would normally start both feet up, and I'm just gonna sit up. Okay. The only problem with that I find is that I feel a lot of hip flexor, and again, I, I want to find ways to work this serratus muscle without doing boring physio type movements. So um, I call the serratus sit up. What I would do though to get rid of the hip flexor even more, I'm gonna straighten one leg. Now, I don't care which leg it is, you can switch halfway through if you're really OCD. Um, but generally speaking, you just have one leg, maybe the next set, switch the other one. It's just going to stop you from pulling too much on the hip flexor to get up. If I'm laying down and I go to sit up and I, my foot comes off, that's a good sign you weren't really using your abdominals to get up. You're using the torque to get momentum out of your hip flexor. So as I come up, I try to keep that heel down. Okay. So, the other thing I'm going to add to it to work this rate is I'm going to add a punch of alternating dumbbells. You can make it easier by punching both at the same time, or you can make it easier just by having your hands up and not punching at all. So, 45 seconds is what the exercise is going to look like. switch the knee and it's fine. It doesn't really matter. This is not about your knees. Okay. Second one you're going to do is a uh, plank and what's called a bird dog. Now a bird dog generally a great dynamic warm warm up movement. So kind of one arm opposite leg. Plank stance bird dog though is more definitely more of a core movement. So uh, one thing about a proper plank. Most of the time when I see plank I see this where the body is sagging into itself. So I'm sagging into my shoulders, I've got a huge dip in my lower back. All you're gonna do is kill your lower back and work your shoulders, which is not the intention of the exercise. But you do a proper plank, get yourself as high off the ground as you can. And if you can see that arch in my back, I'm gonna try to get rid of it. Okay, that's a proper plank. Now, bird dog, that one arm opposite leg without there or without there. Okay. You might laugh and I might look stupid, but I see that all the time. So, next thing you're going to do is a leg raise to hip thrust. Okay. I can push on the ground, I can do whatever I want from here. One thing about this is, I'm going to take my abs and I'll show you. I can only go up to about there. Any more, it starts pulling on my pelvis. It's going to kill my lower back. So from a leg raise hip thrust perspective, okay, do not go any lower than I can keep my lower back flat. So, punch over your belly button, not over your face. Okay, it's really easy to roll up. It's not so easy to do a proper hip thrust. The last one we're going to do is oh, fun. This is a bent knee V set. Okay. I'm going to take a 10 count, not a 10 second, but a 10 count to get all the way down and then I'm going to just sit back up. Okay. Always come back up, grab your hamstrings to lift your chest. Don't do a V set like that. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, dead. I don't care how you get up. Fix your posture. So, 45 seconds go, least amount of time possible to rest. 
I'm just going to hit the timer every time I get started on my new exercise. Okay? So, um, from a perspective of weight, I, I don't think I've ever used more than a 10 pound on the serratus punching sit up. Um, it's just negating what you're trying to do. You're trying to get up high and you're trying to reach. Okay? Pretty useless if you've got too much weight. You can handle it, you can hear it, go for it. Okay. Again, I don't care which leg is bent or which is straight. Good idea to switch per set. You want 45 seconds? Notice I don't flop down. Control is a lot of lower abs. I'm pushing the ground. You're going to need that. Oh. Forty-five seconds. Again, uh, time is just a suggestion. Forty-five seconds. That was my limit. Okay? I wasn't getting more than that. If you're hardcore, if you're Jason, you're doing a minute. Okay. And if thirty seconds is all you can do, or fifteen seconds is all you can do, that's all you can do. Okay. If you can do more than forty-five seconds to a minute, stop doing this kind of work. Start doing like hanging pikemans or something else that's really heavy on the abs. Do more strength stuff. Okay. You have enough endurance in your core. Um, Tara's going to do this, but she's going to show it from the plank on the knees. It's just a little bit easier. Okay. Now, don't make me look bad. Uh, probably won't whine as much as you do. Hmm? I probably won't whine as much as you do. You're not going to whine as much as me. That would make me look bad. 
All right, Serena, sit up. Good. Notice she pops her chest when she gets up there. Remember what I said about that heel. If it comes up, you're pulling hip flexor. Do everything you can to keep it down. Much better. I don't even want to watch that. My abs hurt. Nice, Tara. Notice she paces herself, right? You're naturally going to slow, but she doesn't let her form go to crap. Ever. It's up, punch, chest pop out. Up, chest, up. Good. One last one. Perfect. Okay, chuck them away. Show how you get into a proper plank, okay? From the knees. So first and foremost, especially ladies, don't do push-ups from the top. Lay all the way down, set your elbows or your hands, get your knees out of the way. Okay, so her tailbone is about the same as her shoulders and her head. Let's go. Pace it, and I want your feet, toes off the ground. They never touch. Bend your knees. Good. She's a lot harder than it looks, especially from the feet. This is Tara's favorite, right? Yeah, you love him. Reach the fingertip. Good. If anything, you're trying not to glute kick it up. You're trying to keep the glute reaching back at the same height as the finger. So maybe fingers higher. There you go. Eight seconds. A couple more. Beautiful. Leg raise to hip thrust. Laying on your back. Okay, so show me where your lower abs can handle as far as that leg lowering. So put them over your belly button or your chest. Straight knees, straight as knees you can, and will hit the lid. Okay, so that's about as far as you're going before it pulls on your pelvis. All right, that's as low as you go. Go up, punch over the belly button. Don't flop. It's that control to get down. The softer you set down that pink stripe on her hips, she's trying to set that down as soft as possible. More control. Push into your hands. Better. Try to breathe out the other way. Breathe out when you kick. There you go. Control on the down. You gotta get those little wraps. Better. It's a good adjustment she did there for her lower back. I'd also say maybe don't lower the legs so much if you're feeling lower back at all. Control. One big one. Alright, that's it. Sit up. That V sit. Okay. I want that soft count down out loud. Okay. Grab the hamstrings to pop the chest. Beautiful. I don't care how you get up. Think about reaching the feet more than you do with the shoulders falling back. Chest. Notice how she doesn't keep, she doesn't ever lose that perky chest on the way down. She never sags or rounds her lower back. It's very straight. Beautiful. Hold. Okay. Get your own 10 count. You got 8 seconds. Finish this last rep. Chest. Chest. Finish your 10 regardless of the beep. Oh my babe. There you go. Alright, so that's 45 seconds. Feel your abs? Oh, yeah. Anything else? Uh, Hip flexors lower back a little bit? A little. Okay, but mostly abs? Yeah. Okay, and you did it right. So 45 seconds, 30, I don't care if it's a minute. Do those four exercises max three times around. Okay? Have fun with that.